Subscribe to Rain and Love's Keto and turn on that notification bell. Thank you. What's that on that beat? Is it magic? Baby, tell me why you disappear. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Keto and Tea. So we're going to take Ogunst Avenue again to work. They got me there faster than going up Wall Street. guys so I wanted to come on and speak a little bit and I got a clip that I'm going to add into the video I'm going to add the clip in and it's a clip of unspoken purpose she was doing commentary on the whole Anaya and the code perspective situation right she was doing commentary on that and my name came up Kim's name came up um she feels like truth only support and shout us out because we do commentary sometimes that's in favor of truth now, there's been plenty of times on plenty of occasions where truth has asked me not to respond to anything, don't give it my energy, don't give it my time, and, and I think I'm going to add that clip in this video as well, so you can kind of see what you know what I'm talking about. There's been times where truth was like, don't even react don't even do nothing. She was like, she made that mistake before in the past a long time ago, before they all got to know each other, Unspoken, uh, Flexi and all of them. Before they all got to really get involved with each other, she said they had made those mistakes before in the past, coming out and addressing stuff and wanting to defend themselves. And it got them into a battle that has been probably going on, if you ask me, for more than three years, if you ask me. So... Truth supports and, and shout me out before I even started even making videos on what I've seen around the sector, right? So I came onto the scene doing my little keto thing. Truth was supporting that. There was no negativity. There was no commentary in defense of her. She was already supporting my channel then. And I wasn't doing response videos or anything like that. But this receipts out there that shows she has been supporting my channel. And my channel, for the most part, is positive. I barely get into debacles. And when I do come out and speak, it's my opinion that when I come out and speak and I speak on things. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to be fancy. But I come out and I speak on things. So everybody comes out and speak on things and address certain issues. But you saying it's in defense of her and she shout us out and she uh, she don't support us. Um, I recall doing a response video to you, Unspoken, and I told the sippers in state game, I can come out and handle my own affairs. I don't need anybody's help or anything. So when I was responding to you, yeah, it, why would they need to jump all over it? It was you and I having a conversation. And we wasn't really in no big ass fight or nothing like that where I was, you know, getting... I mean, if you was tearing my ass up, it wasn't nothing like that. Man, you were having a conversation. So why would they come out and speak for anything when I didn't need them to? So maybe it looks like to me... I, it, I could be wrong. It looks like to me... Maybe you are picking on, you know, Cam and me and other people. Maybe to get a response out of Truth and Flexi. Could that be the case? 
I just want to know, could that be the case? Um, now, I'm going to play a clip too from Truth asking for us not to even respond or go back and forth. So, I don't know what the issue is. I don't know what the issue is. But I'm going to play those clips. And I'm going to put them all right here in this video. So this video, y'all, is going to be kind of long today, y'all. This video is going to be long. Because I'm going to play a clip from her. I'm going to play the, the clip. And I think at the time, Truth was on Cam's panel when she said that. When she was saying, you know, not to go back and forth. Keep your channels, you know, going in a positive direction. Don't feed into it. It's never ending. But for unspoken, so what is the end game? Cause y'all, y'all been at war for years, right? What is the end game? After the whole sector stops supporting truth and flexi, then what happens after that? And you said nobody wants the sickly sip, the, the sickly sippers, the septic sip, sippers, whatever y'all call them. So when Truth loses her support, if your goal is to get the channel down or I don't know what the end goal is. So after all of those things happen, now what? What would be the commentary? Do you do commentary on other people and do the same that you did to Truth and Flexi or I'm, I'm just confused. I don't know what the end game is because this thing has been this has been going on for years. And that clip that I played that I'm going to play about you saying those things can't nobody mind fuck me. I have my own mind. In fact, I work for a psychologist, a real licensed psychologist who has a multi-million dollar company with clients that we care for. So can't nobody mind fuck me. I understand well what's going on. I take trainings, I go to seminars, and I understand very well what you're trying to do. He was trying to manipulate, being very, very like you you can't do that with me. You just can't. And you gotta respect that. And you say that uh truth was like she uh, still giving y'all praise, but she say don't do no defense, but still she made a segue and said, yeah, but y'all don't have to do this, but thank you. Who wouldn't thank someone for speaking out? If, if a content creator made a video about me and it was speaking out in the defense of me because that person saw something that the other people might not have seen, why wouldn't she say thank you? That's, that's a normal thing to do. And at the same time, she has stated in the past, do not make videos, do not do lives, don't respond. Hell, she said, don't even mention your damn name. She has said those things over and over and over again. But yet you still find a way to say, she, that's her way of saying, yeah, continue to do so. Yeah, girls, get them. I'm nobody's yard dog. I'm not come out and I just have opinions. So anyway, you guys, I'm going to put those clips in this video and I'm going to edit this thing some kind of way where it all makes sense. And I'll see you guys on the next video. You have a good one. Be with them, you know, us or outsiders. Some things I just choose not to react to or respond to because it, it to me, sometimes when you react to stuff, it makes it worse. Sometimes yeah. when you entertain stuff, it makes it worse. And I, I, I'm no. You mean like when Flexi reacted and did a response to Too Strong and we f end up finding out who she really was? You're right. Shit does get worse. Listen, I don't have to say this, I don't have to prove this, but I'm nobody's punk. So me not responding right. or reacting to certain things is not me being a punk. It's me being grown. And it's me trying to grow and trying to be a different right. and a better because person. And that's it. That's all. And, and I don't have to be a part of everything. Like, 
And listen, I tell my people all the time, thank y'all so much for, for, for holding me down. And when you see someone now you does it, Nicole, you've done it. It's other sisters in it. Can I run all y'all? Y'all listen. When y'all see something, y'all speak on it. And I love that about y'all because y'all are strong minded women. And you have your own mind. And I have never, ever, ever asked any one of y'all. You just did. You just did. I'm going to play that again. And I want y'all to listen to what she says. It's not that she asked them to do commentary on them, on her or in defense of her. She praised them for doing it. She showed appreciation. She shouts them out. Those are the only people that they share out and shout out are content creators until I say something about it. Then they start sharing and shouting out. It's all right. Then they start sharing and shouting other people out. This woman is sick. She's sick and she feeds off of negativity. See, you're not a negative person. And I, and I get that, that you don't understand what her motives are. You don't understand why she moves the way she moves. You don't understand why she won't just leave you the fuck alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't understand it either, but I know why she does it. Yeah. She's sick. And anybody that sits and listens to her and watches her should be able to see that. Hopefully you guys can hear. You know what I'm saying, Kim? And it's just easy what it is. And what I don't want you to do is focus on what she is trying to do. And focus on your channel. Focus on your co content. Focus on what's going to help you to grow. Everybody's being 
you tell you want to come out and you want to debunk it and you want to say, look, you're a liar. You know what I mean? So I get, I respect any decision y'all make as far as, and see, this is the thing. I like the, see, I like the way y'all do what you do. You feel me? Like, if you feel like you want to address something, I like the way y'all come out and do it. You know what I'm saying? People can say what they want, but I'm proud of y'all, too. I'm proud of y'all that y'all are being a team and you standing strong and you doing it the right way. Right. See, because it's, it's, not, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to support y'all regardless, and y'all know that it is what it is. You know, motherfuckers say what they want to say. I'm going to support y'all regardless, and I'm going to do what I can to help. Like like I told Cam, and right now I told you the same thing. Anything I can do, let me know. Anything that I'm not doing, let me know. But like I said, you as two mature grown women and, and know what you want and know how to say it and know how to do it, keep doing you. Whenever you feel like you need to say something, come out and say it. Just all I ask is that you continue to do it the way that you're doing it. Right. I just don't want to... You can't, you can't talk. Like, you yeah, can't talk. I just don't want to be painted in a negative light because that's not my style at all. So, there's, um, you heard the clip from Truth supporting the positivity from my channels not wanting us to go back and forth with anyone um so I think that piece right there that I played was very important because it tells the whole story and I just want to be left alone I don't want to be mentioned yeah, I have my channel, but I'm not in no debacles or anything like that. I just don't want to be mentioned. I do my own thing, keto and tea. I do my videos the way I see fit. I'm having fun with YouTube. But when I'm going to come out and speak, I'm going to come out and speak. That's my right. I have a right to come out and speak. If I see things are wrong, I'm going to come out. And I'm going to speak about them. So. This is the end of my video you guys. So I played the unspoken clip. I played the clip from truth. And it all depends on how you view things. And how you look at it. So there's that. You guys have a good one. And I'll see you guys on the next video. What's it on that beat? Feeling like I'm floating to the ceiling, is it magic? Baby, tell me why you just...